Hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, today's instructions are going to cover creating the fixed finger for our hydraulic arm assembly. And what we're going to save this as is part 18, fixed finger. When creating this finger, you will notice that in the picture they have both fingers. The top half is called the fixed finger, and the bottom half is going to be the movable finger. So for the instructions, Right now, we are just going to focus on the fixed finger, which is this top portion right there that I just highlighted. So what we need to do is go to our inventor program and create a new part. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new sketch, like always. And we select this plane right here. Let's go to our instructions. Now, I know there's a lot going on with this finger right here, but we just want to create a basic rectangle and then we'll cut off all these other objects. So the rectangle has a height that we got to calculate. Since it shows the entire height as 3.25, we want to create half of that height for our rectangle. So using your calculator, you can see that 3.25 divided by 2 comes out to 1.625. So our height is 1.625 for the top half. The length of our rectangle can be found down here at the bottom, and the length of it is 3.5. So I'm going to go back to Inventor. I'm going to click the Rectangle tool. First one is length of 3.5, and if you push Tab, it goes to the height, and the height is 1.625, and Enter. Let's see how that looks. And there's our rough shape of our rectangle. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch, and we're going to have to extrude it to give it some depth. Looking at the instructions over here on the right hand side, this is the right side view of the fingers. And it shows a depth of 0.375. So that's what we need to extrude ours to. So I'll click extrude. I'll select that. I want it to go away from me. And I will choose 0.375. And I will click OK. Now we got to start taking off the chunks, like I said. So let's look at our picture. Let's start with the easiest thing on here. And that is probably the hole right here. So we're going to use our hole feature, but first we need to look. How far is this center hole from the edge and the bottom? Well, the bottom is easy to figure out because it says right here that it is 0.375 from the bottom. But how far is it from this edge? For that information, we're going to have to go to the bottom here. And it says right there, 0.375. So this circle is pretty centered at 0.375 and 0.375. Then we just got to follow this little arrow up to the top, and it shows it has a diameter of 0.25. So let's go do that real quick. Go to the Inventor program. The easiest way is to add a hole. I'm going to try to guesstimate where it is, about right there. The diameter is at 0.25 already. Then we need to click two reference points. Let's start with reference point number one. And I'm going to choose the left edge here. And I was pretty close, but I need to change it to 0.375. Then I'm going to choose reference point number 2. And from the bottom edge, it is also 0.375. And we are ready to apply that feature, and our hole is done. Let's go back to the drawing and see what we should do next. Let's go ahead and work our way around and add this angle to our drawing and slice that off. So. It's a 45 degree angle, and we need to look at the top view up here to discover that it is 0.825 from the back edge to this point right here. Knowing a lot about triangles, we should all know that if there's a 45 degree angle in the triangle, then this one has to be 45 degree angles as well, and this one will be 90 degrees. So we know that it's 0.825 from this edge too. That will make it a perfect right triangle. So let's go back and we are going to create a new sketch on the face here. We're going to use the line tool and we're just going to create a rough line from edge to edge. Now we need to dimension that line. And from the top point to the back point should be 0.825. Go ahead and apply that. And from the top point to the bottom point, that will be 0.825 as well. And there is our little triangle that we created. Go ahead and finish that sketch, and we're going to extrude that off of there. 
I'm going to select it. I'm going to remove all of it. And I'm going to apply that. And there goes that chunk. Starting to look a little bit, a little bit more like the picture. Let's go ahead and remove the front chunk off of it. We're going to do the same type of thing we just did. We're going to draw a line across the front portion and we're going to dimension it. So let's look at those dimensions. From the bottom to the top portion of that line right there is only 0.25 and from the top portion to the front edge we have to go down here at the bottom to find that and it shows right there that it is 1.25. So I'm going to go back to the program. I'm going to create a new sketch on the front face and I'm going to draw a line on it. And I'm going to go ahead and dimension that line. And I said from the bottom to that point is only 0.25. And from the top to the back was a little bit bigger at 1.25. And there we go. Let's go ahead and finish that sketch and extrude the entire thing off of it. And there you go. We only have one more thing to add to this fixed finger, and that is the circle right here. So the easiest way to add this big circle is to use the whole feature one more time. But let's see where we're going to place it. Looks like the center of this circle, if you follow the line down, is 2.0 from the back edge of the finger. And if we follow this arrow over here, we see it has a diameter of 2. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. We're going to select the whole feature again. I'm going to place that hole right here on the bottom. If you place it up here, it'll be very off-centered and it won't look right. So make sure you go way down here on that edge. And I'm going to change the diameter to 2, and I'm going to place one reference to it, and I'm going to reference this back edge here. I'm going to put 2 there. I'm going to apply those features, and there it is. As simple as that. There is your fixed finger for your hydraulic arm, and that's all you have to do. Make sure you save it correctly, and you name it Part 18 Fixed Finger. And you're done.